Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign on for ASP.NET web applications using one login as IDP. Let's get started. Follow the instructions in the link displayed on the screen to install the Mini Orange ASP.NET Samuel module, or you can access the link in the video description for more information. Once the plugin is installed, open your browser and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, click on Plugin Settings tab, and you will see the Identity Provider list here. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Select one login from the list, and click on it. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your application admin dashboard. Here, we will be using one login as IDP. Let's configure the one login as IDP. Log in to your one login admin account. Click on Applications, and select Applications from dropdown. Click on Add App button. Now, search for SAML in the search box, and click on it. Enter the display name of your choice and click on Save button. Go to Configuration tab. Here, you need to fill up the audience URL and the ACS URL, which you will get from the ASP.NET SAML module. For SP metadata go to the ASP.NET SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the service provider metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Copy the required URLs and paste them into the corresponding field of one login. Select SAML Namite format as email. Click on Save button. Click on Parameters tab. Click on Plus button to add the attributes as per your choice. Enable the Include in SAML Assertions option. Click on Save button. Go to the SSO tab. You can find the IDP metadata here. Copy the issuer URL. It will require later to configure ASP.NET SAML module. Go to SAML module, and click on Upload IDP Metadata. In the Enter Metadata URL field, enter the issuer URL, which we have copied from one login and click on Fetch Metadata button. As you can see all the details are autofield. Scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Log in with your one login credentials. On successful configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on click here link or you can also click on continue SSO integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the integration code section. Just copy paste the code snippet wherever you want access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO. For that, add the URL which is showing on the screen as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL, and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Log in with your one login credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions, please drop us a query at info at